Vicky Park is a creepy place even during the earliest of hours. Being in the rough part of Edinburgh, it's seen its fair share of muggings, fights and general violence. Having spent an hour in detention, Cathy is pissed off as it is, and can't wait to go home from that shithole that is Trinity Academy, just on the other side of the park. She pulls out her phone as she approaches the underpass which leads her home, with Craig Hall Road just above it. It's 4.35 on a winter's evening and it's getting pitch black. She stopped in her tracks under the shadows above the road as a feeling of being watched takes over her. She turns around at the sound of heavy breathing and is greeted by a sight of pure evil. It stands there, emotionless, eyes that pierce the soul, head tilted and arm dangling by its side. The small, frail figure stares. After what seems like an eternity, the small child turns slowly and walks back up the path. Cathias stood, frozen to the spot, legs paralysed, staring at the childlike thing as it just disappears from view, but not quite. It stops, and Cathy is taken over by pure terror. As the child turns its head 180 degrees to face her, torso still facing forward. Its thin lips stretch across its face, ear to ear, in an evil, menacing grin revealing rows of long, sharp teeth. It begins to run back down the path towards her, its torso still facing forwards. She is unable to move, still paralysed. What if it caught her? What would it do to her? She tries hard to move her feet to run away. She can't. Eyes fixed on this horrific sight running towards her. It's getting closer. The lorry going past on the road above breaks her gaze from the thing running towards her. Regretting taking her eyes off it. She looks back down, expecting to see rows of sharp pointy teeth inches away from her face. But it's gone. There's nothing. That night, that tension, that underpass, is something Cathy will never forget for the rest of her life. So next time you are walking under a bridge, an underpass, or a park at night, being mugged should be the least of your worries. Ask Cathy.